nine places around the world that only the bravest tourists dare visit. This chapel is located in Avaura, Portugal, and it is one of the most famous monuments of the city. The chapel gets its name from the interior walls that are covered and decorated with human skulls and bones. The Chapel of Bones was built in the 16th century by a Franciscan monk who wanted to tell his brothers that life is short. This is why the walls are covered with bones. At the entrance of the chapel, there is a sign, this can be translated, as we bones, that here are, for yours await. Number 8. Poya Forest, is situated in Transylvania, and is famous for various stories about paranormal events. According to the legend, the forest is named after a shepherd, who once, entered the forest with animals, and, disappeared with them in a thick fog. No signs of an assault were found. Many researchers, claim, that they experienced fear, they panicked, and they heard different voices, while, they were, in the forest, all for unexplained reasons. Some, of them are convinced they saw a UFO there, others are sure they met ghosts. It's hard to believe any of this, even, though there are photos, that supposedly captured these events. But, is there a better place than Transylvania for stuff like this to happen? Number 7. The Hill of Crosses is a holy site in Lithuania, and, it is a hill with, a huge number of crosses on it. The exact number of crosses is unknown, but, according to some calculations, in the 90s, there were about 50,000. The site is not a cemetery, but, more and more, crosses appear there because people believe, that if you leave a cross on the hill, you will be lucky. There is no accurate information, about the time, and, the reasons for why, the hill was, made in the first place. Number 6. El Caminito, del, Rey, is Spanish for the King's Little Pathway. It is a concrete construction, with steel rails in the rock. The path is located between the Coro, and, Gaitanjo Waterfalls in Malaga, Spain, and, it is, very high, above the ground. The path is 1.8 miles long and just 3.2 feet wide. It, was built in 1905, as an auxiliary path for workers, who were, building the dam. The path was used to get from one side, of the canyon to the other. The king name, was given, to the path after Alfonso XIII, the king of Spain, walked, on it in the opening ceremony. Number 5. Sagada, is very attractive, to tourists, because, this area, was once a part of the ocean. Now, there are a lot of caves, that many foreigners to the Philippines want to visit. In addition to the caves, there are many rocks in Sagada, and, on one of them, you can see hanging coffins. It's not a very pleasant view. Burial in hanging coffins, is a very old tradition, and coffins, were carved, from solid pieces of wood. After the deceased, had been placed inside, the coffin, was put on very high cliffs, up to 380 feet, or in caves. According to the legend, the mountains were a ladder between earth and heaven. Number 4. The Inciro, is a tradition, where you have to run away, from bulls that have been let free on purpose. This is still a popular, form of entertainment, in many villages in Spain. The most popular Inciro, is held in Pamplona during the festival of San Fermin. The route is around 0.6 miles, and, everyone is welcome, to participate, even tourists. The Inciro starts, after the explosion, of a firecracker, and, then the bulls are let free, and, the participants run away from them. There are no conditions, that, you have to run, the entire distance. So, 
If you feel that you are in danger, you can hide somewhere. Number 3. In Palermo, Italy, there are catacombs, where, more than 8,000 people were buried. This place is one of the most famous mummy exhibitions. The catacombs, were built at the end, of the 16th century, when, the number of the Kafasai monastery attendants increased, and, they needed a bigger burial site. In the 18th-19th centuries, this place became a luxury place, for the burial of clergy and bourgeois families. The catacombs, were, officially closed only in 1882. Since then, no one has been buried there. Number 2. This place, is uncharted territory, for ships, because, there are a lot of underwater coral formations. In 2000, the Liberian cruise, ship World Discoverer got stuck near the Solomon Islands, in the Pacific Ocean. None of the passengers were hurt, but there was no way, to rescue the ship itself, so it became a home for fish and other sea creatures. Number 1. This place looks like some new zombie movie promo, but, in fact, it's a real place in Belgium. According to urban legend, after World War II, American soldiers, departed and left their cars in the forest. Many years later, nature took over, and the forest consumed the cars. Never, never mind. Oh, I